Hello fellow mayors, IDRX here with another SimCity tips and tricks video. This one's actually really interesting. I got a lot of help on this from Max's developers. So I hope you guys like it. Um, took some time to research it, but it's pretty cool. So this graph you're seeing it on the screen was sent to me by some of the Max's developers and it is how the global prices of goods are set. So we know in update five, I think it was, they opened it up where the global price of goods could change, but they it was sort of vague on how it was happening, what dictated the price, so I wanted to figure it out because I was hoping, as SimCity, it's a simulation, I was hoping it wasn't random, and uh, it's true, it's not random. A lot of games, they just have random economy, and um, SimCity's not that way. So, what are you looking at? Uh, top right, let's start over there. We got demand and its effect on the base price. Those are the 10 things that you can change the price on. They're all the tradable goods. Under that, you have how the price is calculated. Um, it's a little more complicated looking than it actually is. And then the graph to the left is where the magic happens. Okay, so y-axis, up and down, that is the current price. And then x-axis, left to right, is the demand, which is total buys minus total sells over total transactions. Now, given those numbers, it's not going to be, you're not going to have everybody in the whole community only buying something and nobody selling it. So I would estimate it wouldn't fluctuate more than 0.4 up or down or probably around 0.2 um, be the highest it would ever go. So the price doesn't move that much. It's not huge swings. Now, some of the interesting things. So here's how it works. You come up with the demand, find on the X axis, and then you go up to where it is on the line graph. And that's the price to the left. See, so base price is the middle dot. Interesting things to point out to note is positive on the graph. So right of the zero point. The slope is 1.5 and negative on the graph, it's negative 1. So they're not the same. If it was the same, it'd be 1, it'd be a negative 1. And what this means is that the price will go up a whole lot faster than it will go down based on the base price. So should have quick upswings, slower downswings. It's interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys are using this at all, but you can see on the screen, this is all the different global prices where they're at right now and some of them fluctuate a lot especially the ones that are traded and bought a lot um, so play those uh, if you don't play SimCity for a lot of hours a day but maybe like half an hour a day it really makes sense to follow these price changes if you're playing 10 hours a day then it's not as important to you but if you're playing a little bit um, take a look at the price buy it when it's low sell it when it's high so hope you guys learned something in this video um, I really enjoyed this information. If you did, please leave it a like. It really helps me out. Uh, the videos have been doing great recently. Um, past couple days, actually really good. So thank you on the support for that. It means a lot. So this has been your boy, Adorex. Kaboom!